Welcome to Knowledge on the Go. Wednesday na naman. I'm your host, Kuya Kim. At kamusta po kayo ngayong umaga? Have you done everything that uh, needs to be done ngayon? Sa lahat ng mga may trabaho, of course, karamihan ng mga nanonood sa ating mga bata at ang ating mga magulang ay nagtatrabaho na. Pero ang mga mami natin nasa bahay pa rin taking care of us. House online classes. Nahirapan ba kayo? Napakahirap talaga ng online classes, di ba? Medyo boring. But we have to do it. Matatapos na ito. Just uh, keep on praying and keep on being hopeful. And then in time, this will all be okay. Basahin natin ang mga watchers natin sa Kumu ngayong umaga. Si Je- Genesina Canario sent halo-halo. Thank you for the halo-halo. Maria Linogo, kumusta po kayong lahat? Mappy watching while working po. Genesis Nakario, halo-halo. Maraming salamat sa halo-halo. At Ortega29, hi po. Yun, thank you very much. Lahat ng mga gifts na binibigay po ninyo sa Kumu ay mapupunta sa charity. Mapupunta sa mga learning kits para sa mga batang medyo nahihirapan. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng ating online viewers sa Facebook at sa Kumu. Welcome po sa Knowledge on the Go. Handa na ba kayong matuto ng mga bagong kalaman? Bago yan. Don't forget to like and share this live sa inyong pamilya at mga kaibigan. Let's wait for our other classmates. Kaya ba nating pabuti ng 1,000 ng viewers natin bag- bago tayo magsimula? Sana umabot tayo ng 1,000 followers. Right now, sa Kumu, we have about 204 people watching us. Sa Facebook, staff, ilan na ba tayo sa Facebook ngayon? Habang naghihintay tayo, trivia muna tayo. Trivia muna tayo. One of my uh, pets now, of course, meron, paya- meron pamilya ng bayawak eh. Ang pamilya ng bayawak, ang tawag sa kanila ay Varanus, oh. Varanids, no? This kind of bayawak is not found in the Philippines. This kind of bayawak is found in South Africa. Ang tawag sa kanya ay Savannah Monitor. It's found in the savanna so of South Africa, but like any ordinary bayawak, like the bayawaks that we find in the Philippines, this guy is a carnivore. It eats nothing but meat. So, ang pinapakain dito ay manok, daga, pieces of meat, and others. No, This will grow to about 3 to 4 feet. So, this is still a juvenile. Bata pa ito. It's about a year old. Pero lalaki ito at tatanda ito. Pag nakita naman natin ang kanyang dila, nilalabas niya ang kanyang dila because it's smelling the air. This animal, like uh, snakes, has a Jacobson's organ and the Jacobson's organ smells the air for particles whether to know to fight or to flight. Pagkain ba itong naamoy ko o kalaban? So this is the Savannah Monitor from South Africa. It's still a baby but it will grow to a much 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 bigger size. Don't do that because uh, this is tame dahil hinahawakan araw-araw. But if you see uh, bayawak, ayaan lang natin, you know bayawak sa a purpose in nature. Dito nga sa atin, ginagawa, kinakain eh. Kasi lasang manok daw. Abay, kung lasang manok, edi kumain na lang tayo ng manok, di ba? But the bayawaks, what is their purpose in nature? They eat rats. And rats are considered pets, di ba? pests, di ba? So let's just allow the bayawaks to thrive because they are our natural pest control. So, yeah. Kamusta kayo ngayong umaga? Ang lessons natin ngayong araw ay from grade 6 and grade 7. Right now, we have about 274, 277 on Scene Zone dito sa Kumu on Facebook. Marami-rami na rin. So, start na natin. 186 viewers on Facebook. But in a, in a bit, dadami na yan. Okay? Ang lessons natin ngayon ay from grade 6 and grade 7. Kung handa na kayo, let's play Knowledge on the Go! Okay. Question number one. Mula sa subject na Filipino. Sa aling sports na kilala si David Nepomuceno bilang first Filipino Olympian? A. Bowling B. Boxing C. Chess D. Sprint You have 20 seconds to answer the question now. 20 seconds starts now. Sa aling sports na kilala si David Nepomuceno bilang first Filipino Olympian? First Filipino Olympian. Bowling, boxing, chess, sprint. 15 more seconds to go. Hello to everyone. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Ang tapang sagot ay letter D, sprint. Alam niyo ba na si David Nepomuceno ay ang sole representative ng Pilipinas noong 1924 Summer Olympics na ginanap sa Paris, France. Siya ay lumaban sa 100 and 200 meter track sprints. O sino dito nakakuha ng tapang sagot? David Nepomuceno. Si Andeng 0316A, si Mapi D ang sagot niya. Hazel Farol sent halo-halo. Thank you very much for the halo-halo. 
guys. Okay, thank you very much. Sprint, ang tama sagot ay letter D. So si Mappy uh, had the right answer, gave the right answer, letter D. Okay? We now move on to the next question. The next subject is science. True or false? An octopus, an octopus is an example of an amphibian. An octopus is an example of an amphibian. 20 seconds starts now. Sabi ni Asrael Gonzalez, false. Sabi ni Denmark Elardo, false. Sabi ni Genesis Cario, false. Karamihan ng mga sagot, false. Sabi ni Arty, true. May ilang, uh, isa lang ang true out of the, like 20 people who said false. We have five more seconds to answer the question. At ang octopus ba isang amphibian? Time's up! The true, the correct answer is false. An, an octopus is not an amphibian. It's not an invertebrate, meaning it does not have a backbone. Ang pamilya ng octopus ay mga cephalopods, Greek word for head foot, which makes sense dahil ang limbs ng mga octopus ay naka-attach directly sa kanilang ulo. Alam niyo ba na may tatlong puso ang octopus at color blue ang kanilang dugo? Mga matatalino rin silang ocean creature. Blue ang dugo. Blue blooded, no? Nakakita na ba kayo ng octopus? Nawala sa kusina? In Hawaii? They're so beautiful. They're like chameleons. They adapt to the colors of their surroundings. And they're masters at camouflage. Okay? We now move on to our next question. We have already 438 live viewers dito sa Scene Zone and 620 scheduled diamonds. Ano ba yun? <laughs> okay. Ang susunod nating tanong ay mula sa subject na Araling Panlipunan. Ang tanong, ito ang isa sa pangunahing paaralang itinatag ng mga Amerikano. A. Universidad ng Santo Tomas. B. Para lang normal ng Pilipinas or Philippine Normal University. C. Escuela Municipal de Manila. D. Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Manila. 20 seconds starts now. A, B, C, or D? Sabi ni Asrel Gonzalez, PNU or Philippine Normal College. Mapi, ang sagot niya, letter B. Uh, Dragon Lady, A. We have 9 more seconds to answer the question. Three, two, one. Time's up. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Para lang normal ng Pilipinas or Philippine York Normal University. This is just a few blocks away from my house because I live in Manila. Na-establish ang para lang ito noong 1901. It's said to be the first higher institute of learning organized during the American occupation. Ang PNU rin ang tinalaga na National Center for Teacher Education under Republic Act Number no. 9647. Sa mga viewers natin, my family of friends na so nag-aaral sa PNU, please send up some, some Carlito Clap or Carlito Galing. Galing. Philippine Normal University. Normal comes from the word norm or rules. This is a school where we learn rules or norms. Wala pong kinalaman turong sa normal o abnormal. Sabi ng ilan, pagka puro normal ang nag-aaral dyan, yung mga abnormal sa labas. <laughs> that was the running joke when I was young. Okay, the next question is from English. The question is, DJ used his background knowledge to make sense of what he was listening to. What kind of listening strategy did he use? A. Bottom up. B. Side to side or side by side. C. Top down. D. All around. 20 seconds starts now. Let me read it again. DJ used his background knowledge to make sense of what he was listening to. What kind of listening strategy did he use? Bottom up, side down, top down, all around. We have uh, eight more seconds to go before the time is up. We have five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. The correct answer is C, top down. Merong dalawang klase ng listening strategies. Bottom up and top down. Top down is a strategy, strategy which is listener-based while well, bottom-up is text-based. Ginagamit natin ang top-down strategy kapag gumagawa tayo ng predictions and inferences at bottom-up strategy naman kapag may specific detail tayong gustong malaman. Kung mapapansin nyo sa ating tanong, ginamit ni BJ ang kanyang background knowledge para mas maintindihan ang kanyang pinapakinggan. Meaning, pwedeng inalala niya ang kanyang mga natutunan through conversations and taking down notes. Anong listening strategy ang madalas natin gawin? 
Oh, sa mga viewers natin, no? meron na tayong 602 viewers dito sa ating scene zone sa Kumu. 607 viewers and 955 schedule. Whatever, what does schedule mean ba guys? 955 schedule and 616, uh, 616 live viewers. On Facebook, stop. How many people are watching already? Okay, the next question, question number five, is from the subject of math. True or false? A world, a word problem. Now, if nine men can do a piece of work in six days, how long will it take for twelve men to do the same work? Ay nagpapakita ng direct proportion. Is it true or false? Direct proportion. Is it true or false? Twenty seconds starts now. A word problem. Now, if nine men can do a play a piece of work in six days, how long will it take to twelve for twelve men to do the same work? Is it direct proportion or indirect proportion? Okay, eight, 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. The correct answer is false. The word problem na ito ay halimbawa ng indirect or inverse proportion. Sa math, may tinatawag tayong direct at indirect proportion. Direct ang isang quantity ay nag increase The other quantity also increases. Kapag bumaba ang isang quantity, baba rin ang kasama nito. Halimbawa, kapag marami kayong kinain, inaasahan siyempre ang ating pagbigat o paglaki ng ating timbang. Ang pagkain mo ay directly proportional sa timbang mo. Indirect or inverse naman, kapag ang isang quantity ay nag increase and the other quantity decreases. O kapag nagde-decrease ang isa, inaasahan ang pag-increase ng isang quantity. Kapag malaki ang gastos, maliit ang savings. Pero kapag maliit ang gastos, malaki ang savings. Doon sa problem natin kanina, kapag mas marami ang gagawa, inaasahan natin na mas iigli ang number of days na kailangan para matapos ito. At kapag mas kaunti ang gagawa, syempre, mas tatagal ito. Okay? Sana send us some Carlito claps sa mga nakakuha ng correct answer. Right now, we have 70, 20, 724 viewers dito sa Kumu and 1,180 uh, 1, schedule. Thank you very much for the gifts, guys. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga regalo. Binibigay ninyo lahat po ng mga gifts na binibigay niyo sa amin sa Kumu ay mapupunta po sa mga knowledge kits na binibigay po natin sa mga batang mahirap that cannot afford it. The next question, question number six from science. Which of these is not a reptile? A. Snake. B. Toad. C. Turtle. D. Crocodile. 20 seconds starts now. We have 1,005 diamonds! Oh my gosh, thank you very much! We love you guys. 1,205 diamonds. Ah, this violet thing pala is diamonds. So, and actually now we have 1,255 diamonds already. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Ito ba'y pupunta sa lahat ng mga may hirap na bata? Time's up! The correct answer is letter B. Toad. Ang toad ay isang halimbawa ng amphibian. Hindi po ito reptile. Ito isang organism na namumuhay with dual life, meaning pwede silang mabuhay sa land o sa water. Ang snake, turtle, at crocodile naman ay reptiles. They've adapted to live completely on dry land. Well, turtles can also be aquatic turtles, no? It's not an absolute uh, uh, principle differentiating amphibians or reptiles. Some reptiles are able to live both on sea, on in water, and on land. But uh, they're different family. Okay? Uh, we'd like to shout out for uh, sa regular Facebook viewers natin si Chris De La Cruz, Jemmer Pamerico, Maldia, Michelle Sanyano Mendoza, Goldie Quen, Ali Jeffrey Dibol, Ray John Lancola, Jetzel Hamora, Makilig, Elian Reyes, and Michelle Bayo. We have 816 live viewers on Scene Zone dito po sa Kumu. Thank you very much. Next question is from the subject of English. Complete this analogy. In the Philippines, if the first woman president is Corazon Aquino, then the first national artist is to A. Fernando Aborsolo B. Fernando Po Jr. C. Guillermo Tolentino D. Napoleon Abueva 20 seconds starts now. Thank you very much guys. We have 1,375 diamonds already. Thank you for all the diamonds guys. 843 live viewers. Palakpakan. Maraming maraming salamat. We have 10 more seconds to go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
The correct answer is letter A. Fernando Amorsolo, alam niyo ba na siyang Philippines' first national artist in painting at siyang so-called Grand Old Man of Philippine Art. Karamihan sa kanya mga artworks ay tungkol sa pamumuhay ng mga Pilipino noon. Hello sa ating mga viewers na sina Roxanne Miranda Bailon, Mark John World, Arcel, super lag na po ang cellphone ko. Pasensya ka na ganyan talaga ang ating internet dito sa bansa natin. Uh, Roxanne, maraming salamat sa halo-halo. We have 1,450 halo-halos already. Risa, user 7515916, Jack Snoops, thank you very much. Christine Busueg, Gorosam, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. We now move on to the next question. Question number eight. Sino ang superhero na sinasabing faster than a speeding bullet? Uy, pagkadali niya na. Superhero na sinasabing faster than a speeding bullet. Faster than a speeding bullet. Hey, Darna. B. Flash. C. Superman. D. Wonder Woman. Timer starts now. Si Kuya Kim. Hindi si Kuya Kim. Hindi naman ako superhero. Okay, 20 seconds. Starts now. Come on, go. Go, guys. 15 more seconds to go. Thank you for 898 live viewers and 1,535 diamonds. Thank you. These diamonds will go to charity. Three, two, one. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. Yan ang sinasabi sa kanya, di ba? Doon sa intro nila. Isa sa mga characteristics ni Superman ay malakas. Kaya, kaya siyang bumuhat. Kaya niyang bumuhat ng mga mabibigat na bagay. Siya rin ay merong super speed. Sa mga kwentong binabasa natin, nilalarawan natin ang mga tauhan batay sa iba't ibang karakteristik nito. Alam niyo ba na to be faster than a speeding bullet, Superman's speed must be over 2,250 miles per hour, which is the speed of a bullet from a standard US Army M16 rifle na mas mabilis pa sa pinakamabilis pa sa world's fastest aircraft, ang Lockheed SR-71A na may bilis na 2,193 miles per hour. Sing bilis ba kayo ni Superman sumagot ng mga tanong natin? Dapat mabilis kayo ha. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. We have 937. Malapit na tayo sa 1,000. So kumu, marapit na, malapit na. 63 na lang. 63 na lang. We are ready 1,000 dito sa kumu. Thank you so much for supporting. We're 942 na. 942. 942. Okay, Risa, pabati kay Elizabeth Salmo, Princess Leia. Kuya Kim, sino ang favorite superhero niyo? Superman din ako. Jorcine, CCC ang sagot niya. Kases Tadeo, pwede bang pag-greet, Kuya Kim? Milka Salvador, sent halo-halo. 966 viewers already. Okay, ang tanong na susunod naman natin, question number 9, true or false? A kilogram is 100 times heavier than 1 gram. True or false? 20 seconds starts now. A kilogram is 100 times heavier than 1 gram. 20 seconds starts now. Okay. 15 seconds more. We have 988 followers. 992s. 992 na nanonood sa atin ngayon ng live dito sa scene zone natin. And we have 1,720 diamonds. Thank you so much. Time's up. The answer is false. Ang 1 kilogram ay 1,000 times heavier than a gram. Kaya nga kilo eh. Pico, nano, micro, mili, centi, kilo. Kilo means 1,000. Then a gram, meaning 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. We measure mass by weighing. Ang most common measurement na ginagamit natin ay grams, kilograms, at tons. Grams ang pinakamaliit at tons naman ang pinakamalaki. Actually, meron pa tayong mga milligram, mic- microgram, pero uh, technically gram ang pinakamaliit natin. Okay? We have 1,025 live viewers already on Kumu. We have achieved our goal. Maraming maraming salamat. Tama-tama, question number 10 na tayo. Thank you very much the 1,030 live viewers dito sa Kumu. And thank you very much for the 1,780 diamonds that you sent us. Last question mula sa subject na Araling Panlipunan. Ito ang trend na naitatag ng panahon ng mga Amerikano na nag-uugnay sa lunsod ng Maynila hanggang sa Timog Katagalugan o Southern Tagalog uh, region. A. Manila Express B. Bicol Express C. American Express D. Philippine Express 20 seconds starts now I-comment na ang inyong sagot We'd like to say hello to Bappy Thank you very much Part X Thank you very much Mayko Lentes Ella Seguera Junkyuela Gnar199 Lance Mark John World 
Mapi, Johannes, Johanna Latak, maraming maraming pang iba. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Bicol Express. Alam niyo ba, ng ulam na Bicol Express, ito, ang, ito rin ang trend na nag-ugnay sa Manila City sa Timog Katagalugan o Southern Tagalog area. Nadagdagan pa yan, dati ng linya patungong Dagupan, Pangasinan at San Jose, Nueva Ecija. Naging mabisang gamit ang trend sa pagpapaunlad ng industriyang pagtotroso ng mga Amerikano. Dahil dyan ang Pilipinas ang naging pangunahing tagapagluwas ng mga kahoy o troso sa Amerika. I don't think that's good. Kasi that time, maraming mga puno, we took it for granted and we cut all of them down. Ah, but that's part of our history so we can't do anything much about it. O ba? Bicol Express ang tawag sa trend yun. Yun din ang tawag sa ulam na Bicol Express. Pero alam niyo ba, ang Bicol Express ay hindi naman inimbento sa Bicol. Ito yung inimbento dito sa Papua, Manila, ni, ni Aling Seling Kalaw. Pero siya isang uh, karinderiya na malapit dyan sa, sa train station at napag-alaman niya na mga Bicolano ay mahilig sa sili. Kaya naging bento siya ng gulay at dinagyan, nilagyan niya ng maraming sili at ang tinawag niya ay Bicol Express. Pero ngayon, sa Bicol, napakarami na kumakain ng Bicol Express. But it was actually invented here in Paco, Manila. Guys, thank you very much. Sa mga hindi nakakuha ng tamang sagot, pasensya na kayo. But we always have next episode at meron tayong Math Bali with Robbie Domingo right after me. No? Right now, dito sa Scene Zone, meron tayong 1,145 live viewers. Thank you so much. And 2,005 diamonds! Oh my gosh! Palakpakan natin ang ating sarili. Ang saya talagang matuto ng mga bagong kaalaman. Don't forget to share that knowledge sa inyong mga kaibigan at kamag-anak. Maraming 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 salamat sa lahat na nafo-follow sa atin sa Facebook at sa Kubo. Huwag muna kayong aalis dahil may math lessons pa with Kuya Robbie Domingo para sa Math Dali. Kuya Kim will see you again next week sa ating Knowledge on the Go Live every Wednesday yan at 10.30am. Meron akong YouTube channel, Kuya Kim at Kenza Vlog. So far, I'm about 151,000 subscribers already. Please be part of that those subscribers. Please subscribe to Kuya Kim at Yenza Vlog. And I, I vlog about bicycles and motorcycles and general knowledge and trivia and animals and nature and whatever. Matutuwa talaga kayo. So Kuya Kim at Yenza Vlog on YouTube. Please subscribe. And I was able to get my silver play button already. Actually, I got this. When you hit 100,000 subscribers, you get your silver play button. And I got this uh, last week. So thank you. Right now, I have about 150,000 subscribers. Please be part of my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat. Ito po si Kuya Kim. I'd like to end this vlog, uh, this vlog, this uh, session with a blessing from the Book of Numbers. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God shine His face on you. May He be gracious to you. May He turn to you. May He give you and your family peace. Maraming maraming salamat. Lagi nating tatandaan, ang buhay ay weather, weather lang. Thank you guys.